hello guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today i am taking you on a 9.2 fuel drive with this car so the all new hyundai i20 and it's a proper hot hatch with 204 horsepower and it's actually inspired by the wrc car they actually have the same weight and just by looking at it you can see that it's a special model just look at this front bumper we have this splitter with red elements and larger air inlets massive grille the end badge and of course when you unlock it we are greeted with the led lights let me show you the side profile 18 inch wheels larger brakes of course compared to the standard one side skirts also red uh, elements on those and this is the view from the side nice spoiler also uh, inspired by the rally model but of course here for the downforce and this is the view from the back so as you can see nice led lights uh, they are connected with this reflector so this is not illuminated and the real exhaust and it's really an impressive one uh, you will hear it in a moment something special really uh, you must hear it and uh, well yeah without further ado let's do that and uh, let's go for a spin let me show you how this car uh, you know performs and We'll take it on a spin around town uh, as you can see we have the ambient lights and this is the view uh, let's check it out from driver's perspective all right in order to start the car you need to press this button and i will keep the doors open so that we can hear the exhaust even more so this is the standard three two and mode this is really impressive so without further ado let's go for a drive we have a classic handbrake and six-speed manual so uh, definitely <laughs> guarantees the fun so let's go impressive sound so let's start with some facts this car has 1.6 liter turbocharged engine producing 204 horsepower and 275 newton meters of torque from 0 to 100 in 6.7 seconds and top speed is 230 uh, kilometers per hour so those are some impressive numbers but i think uh, what's even more impressive is the amount of fun that you have while you drive uh, this car really something else and i'm sure you can hear it we have the rev matching uh, in N mode you can configure the rev matching you can turn it on even on normal modes with this button here so the rev button and in front of us there is a digital cockpit 10.25 inch one here we also have a 10.25 inch screen you can have the N mode which is a specific screen and layout uh, for the N mode you can customize the various options I will show you that in a moment but you can also go and switch the modes here and now we are for example in eco mode car is not that loud in eco mode the valves are closed and you also have lighter steering but i prefer the end mode so we will put it to end mode Just by hearing this car i think you know people are expecting to see something much more exotic and much more expensive and much more powerful because this car really sounds like a you know sports car proper even maybe a supercar And in order to turn off the start-stop system you need to press this but in end mode the car uh, does not stop. 
stop so uh, I mean it doesn't shut down so as I said this car was inspired by the WRC car and it's got uh, 1190 kilos which is exactly the same as the uh, Hyundai's WRC car so that's quite cool some interesting uh, you know details about this car and we had to take a little detour because of the uh, works that are uh, you know currently going on so yeah but no problems unfortunately we can't see the traffic light from here yeah okay it's green anyway I was talking about uh, cool features of this car so compared to the standard one the suspension is stiffer and also the brakes are bigger 40 millimeters bigger discs compared to the uh, standard i20 and this really is a proper sports car and proper hot hatch have the national theater on our left this car does have the navigation but on this model um, currently it's not working because it needs software updates so uh, yeah the dealership needs to do that but anyway we have a beautiful layout here with two 10.25 inch screens and I do love the fact that the AC controls are on the classic switches so here is where you would change the temperature and this is where you adjust the air blower but now let's focus on the driving modes let's switch from this very cool and very fun end mode to the eco mode so let's start with eco mode as you can see we have a different dials in eco mode and the exhaust is not that loud also as I said the steering is lighter moving on to normal mode here is the view in front of us and in sport mode uh, you have those red dials but of course most interesting one is this So in end mode you have this big rev counter right in front of you you also have the engine temperature the oil temperature uh, the torque and you also have this end specific screen where you can customize the modes for the custom mode so this is custom one and here is where you would adjust all the options for the custom mode and this one is actually pretty useful which i realized today so during the day it was uh, a heavy rain here and i wanted everything on sport plus but traction control uh, i wanted it to be normal and that is how i configured the custom one mode it's very easy to access the custom one mode so you just need to press this uh, you know two times so one time you go into end mode second time custom mode now in end mode the car switches off the safety systems which does make sense because well for example if you are on track you know you don't want your uh, you know track assist or active brake to be on What can you configure well here you see the engine the steering rev matching traction control and exhaust sound you can't configure the suspension so we don't have adaptive dumpers but you know it's a small car small hot hatch and you know you can't expect everything I think uh, you know the suspension is hard but it's not that hard I mean uh, you could daily drive it without problems that's my opinion and this car also has the special Pirelli P0 tires made specifically for this model you have the HN lettering 
on those tires Hyundai N and well yeah they are really good I can tell you that Speaking about the ambient lights, you see them here, but they are only in blue color. So the only color that is available is blue. You can only adjust the brightness. So yeah, I would love to have more options, but it is what it is. Let me show you that and view here we also have the g-force you can put it like this exhaust sound here is where you configure everything you can activate the launch control i'm not gonna do that right now of course we are in the city but maybe i will put the launch control from somewhere outside of the city in the video As soon as you go into high revs the whole dial turns into yellow and then you know and when you go to really high revs turns into red very cool and overall you know this car is really so much fun to drive and one of the best features for me is uh, of course the exhaust sound but also the handling and the manual transmission is a big plus because um, it's really sharp precise and you will enjoy shifting gears uh, with this six-speed manual This is the main menu, so the home screen with all the options. You can configure various uh, things on this screen. Speaking about phone connection, you have the wireless charger for the phone in here. Let's actually stop here so that I can show you that. So the wireless charger is here, it's illuminated. We have the USB port, 12 volt power outlet, some buttons here for the AC. This is the camera and the view that you have. This car has the heated seats and the driving modes can also be adjusted here. So you can either do it with this button here on the steering wheel or with this drive mode button. Uh, so yeah, whatever works uh, for you. And speaking about the phone, there's also a special app. It's called the Hyundai Blue Link app you see it here and uh, with that one you can actually access various information about your car you can see the current status uh, you know service requirements stuff like that pretty useful and Hyundai is offering that on all new models so tell me in your comments how do you like the car The hot hatches like this are not that often these days so this car has uh, you know some competitors we're talking about hot hatches with around 200 horsepower but of course we know that in today's uh, you know, world the industry goes into different segments and different uh, you know models so uh, we have more SUV models and more hybrids plug-in hybrids and they are replacing uh, those small hot hatches 
but it's nice you know that we still have cars like this and Hyundai and division is doing a great job I also need to mention now the safety systems of course and as soon as you go into normal mode you see that we have those blind spot assist lights indicating that now the systems are on and in normal mode uh, you have for example the lane assist we also have the blind spot monitor assist there are no cars around us and uh, now to show you maybe uh, later on but of course it's already it's almost 2 a.m. so not much traffic around us the list of systems can be found here driver assistance so you have the forward safety lane safety blind spot safety and parking safety as well as the driver attention warning all right guys and that was it the night point of view drive with the new Hyundai i20 and tell me in your comments what are your thoughts how do you like this hot hatch and uh, yeah which car would you buy in this class once again not many options it's always nice to have a hot hatch on a test because really uh, it makes me smile and i really enjoy driving cars like this so thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel there will be a full review of this car with all the functions of infotainment and stuff like that and also the point of view drive during the day then we will go to the highway also so yeah that's it thank you very much for watching do subscribe and see you on the next video bye bye